mission is really to be the best school in the country uh, as well as in the region. So we always aim high, which is really our motto as well, Al Tapete. We have actually purpose built the school. Right from the beginning, we looked at what we wanted, the numbers that we wanted per class, to decide how we're going to actually organize our buildings. I think Heritage is a very unique school in the sense that we provide an environment that allows someone to express themselves and at the same time it brings the best out of that person. Wherever you go you can make friends and the teachers here are very welcoming and helpful and they're very hardworking. children are very disciplined. I'm sure if you walk down the hallway, it's good morning ma'am, good morning sir. Our curriculum itself is tailor-made to suit different uh, students with different learning abilities. Um, ICT is quite fun. This week we're having this web competition for Grok Learning and I'm a part of the competition. And I'm doing well. I'm getting all of the things correct, mostly. And biology is actually my favorite science subject. And it's because I've always had a passion for being a doctor. Our main strategy at Heritage is to make sure that we can demonstrably move students on from where they are today. To, to somewhere higher tomorrow. We've got more sort of teacher student time. Well, our Harry Crash is our early learning center. We have um, isolated our crash from uh, the rest of, uh, of the school. We've given them their own area, which is custom designed for their age group. We have put in the facilities that they need to learn. Uh, even from a very young age in the crash, we are encouraging children to explore and discover things by playing outside. Starting from the one-year-olds in Harry Crash to the A-levels in the senior department, our program is a build-up. So you see that those in Harry Crash do most of what those in A-level actually do, just at different levels and degrees of performance. So I was looking for a school that had something for all my children um, more than just academic. And the Heritage School seems to have all of those qualities. Our children get to go on tours. We have French tours, for example. So that just means a lot of exposure. We've got a uh, well-equipped uh, ICT lab and also a well-equipped science lab and uh, we've got a well-stocked uh, library where our students also take books home. They do uh, read at least about four books in a week. Our children start doing computers when they are four. We've now introduced coding and uh, by the time they move over to the junior department, they are now doing robotics and they are doing very, very impressive work up there. Part of our, the goal of our school um, is we want students not just to be good at academically uh, or, or good at sport, but we want them to be leaving the school as young men and women who are well equipped, well disciplined within themselves. We believe every child is entitled to a good education. They may not pass with A's, but they always benefit from the environment in which they are learning.
So what's unique about our school is we've started academies to add to the time we spend uh, doing the several sports. So we have um, our Heritage House at Cricket Academy, we've got the Heritage Football Academy, we've got the Heritage Rugby Academy, we've got the Stingray Swimming Academy, we have the Racket Club, which is a tennis club, um, here also at the Heritage School, and we've got our Golf Academy. So this is all to integrate uh, the students that want to do extra and achieve more. So we have uh, tours that are run annually. Um, we've gone to Austria, we've gone to Germany, uh, we've attended uh, the United Youth Games, which is like a mini Olympics where our students go there for field uh, sports and, and even indoor sports, so basketball, uh, hockey. They, they've, they've toured the world and, and, and seen and rub shoulders with some of the best athletes in their age group. And uh, that gives them confidence when they come back to Zim. Basketball is the sport that I like the most. I've been playing it ever since I was in primary school. And getting here, I've been able to grow as a player. They're probably the best coaches in Zimbabwe that coach here and very good basketball court. The swimming pool, definitely, <laughs> because it teaches you how to endure like the 25 meters and it's an anti-wave pool, so as you're swimming near the wall, you don't have any disturbances. Our sports department has taken on even the Harry Crest children, the three and four year olds, they are starting their sports seriously and it starts with um, you know, hand, eye hand coordination uh, activities, uh, playing on large playing frames and so on, moving up to more serious sports like cricket, rugby, the basic skills, so that by the time they move up to the junior department, they have those skills and they are ready to participate at a competitive level. I'm proud to say Heritage has got the best facilities. This is fairly recent. We've had quite a number of people who have shown interest and they've been shocked by the state of the rooms because they say it's beyond the university level. The Acacia boarding house provides a luxurious spacing for the children. I really like this environment because it's quite peaceful. I'm able to study comparing to when I'm home and it's just so peaceful. I just love the space. We have got uh, a variety of menus and we also try to have uh, different uh, dishes to cater for the different groups that we have. Because we have got students from Angola, the Chinese, so we find that we also have those dishes. We have got the best executive chef. He's very creative and under him we also have junior chefs who are qualified and they are always giving their best as they prepare the food. We like the food that they give us, you know, traditional meals there and here um, make us feel at home. I can say that my roommates, they're quite friendly, we get along. I'm actually thinking that they've actually become more closer than my actual best friend. And um, well, the facility is actually quite good because I can, for example, I can say on weekends when we're bored, we can get to play games and have fun activities such as swimming, basketball, we can play pool and table tennis. When children come in, even on exchange programs, the other year we had students coming in from the UK and from America, they were very comfortable here because they say that the standard that they have seen at the Heritage School matches what they are used to overseas. We have children coming from the region like Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa and um, Angola. Then we also have internationals, Chinese, Japanese, America, Germany and we've um, embraced them and we have made sure that um, they appreciate our culture and you know our curriculum. I've been learning here for 11 years 
and my experience here has been great so far. I've made a lot of friends. Some have become family to me and it's a friendly environment. We want our graduates to be able to mix in any environment where they go to. So they should be versatile, they should be academic, they should be sporty. Our world is becoming one. We have already become a global village. And by the time the child is done with school here, by the time they walk out of the heritage school, they are ready to meet the world. They are not going to feel left behind, they are not going to feel inferior. They are going to feel like they are ready to meet the world in whatever the world brings um, to them.